Hey guys, welcome to a weekly vlog. Ron Johnson, life coach. I'm here to inspire you, motivate you. You know, you always have a choice and you can be anything you want in this world. So today's topic is going to be humanity versus the coronavirus. I'm quite sure everybody out there that has a smartphone, has a computer, has email, has TV, has heard about it. Let me make one clear thing clear. I'm not a biologist. I'm not a politician. I'm not here to say what's right, what's wrong. I'm here to change perspectives and know everybody is one, we're not separate. So first thing is, as humanity, a primitive instinct is to survive. Now I mean not survive for ourselves, survive for our loved ones, survive with people we actually care about at its most core. So when fear happens, we all want to what? Survive, right? You know, you could go on online right now, you see the Costco's, you see Target, you see Walmart, Anything where there's water, toilet paper, tissue paper, hand sanitizer, it's completely gone. And what has created, though, is now also divide. I've seen now, being in store myself, where those that are wearing masks came out of place, or those that cough, people are looking like, why is he coughing? What's going on? Why is she coughing? Those create segregations at its most core, and we're not segregated. I'm going to tell you a brief story that happened to me recently so that we can shine a light on something else. Last Friday, I was training a client as usual, and they tell me, hey, have you been to Costco? I was like, no. He says, well, you need to go buy your stuff. Uh, you can go buy water. You can buy food. You can go buy anything on Paris. But I said, well, what's going on? That virus is in good war. You got to get prepared. Immediately there, first thing it, it came to me is a oh, fear. I better get started. Now, Saturday rolls around. Same thing happens again with another client. Oh, my goodness. I got to do something. Open up Facebook. Guess what I see? Everybody's posting pictures of out of stocks, of, at Target, hand sanitizer, long lines. It just created this overwhelming panic. So guess what I did? Sunday, as soon as Target opened up, I was like the fifth or sixth customer in. I ran in there, cleaned my car, of course, ran right to the aisle. I got my Clorox wipes. I got my tissue paper, toilet paper, water. Actually, water was sold out. But they, I had I got everything that was not perishable, just the coronavirus. And you can look at everybody's cards and, and look at people's faces. They're scared. They're petrified. And what it does, though, it creates this, you know, fear. what fear does, really, it creates an overwhelming anxiety and push to fight or flight. So you look at people's cards, and some people are just there to get the regular goods, and some people's cards are really full, but it creates this instant, I got to do something. The reality was, I wasn't fearful of coronavirus. I was fearful of my business. You know, I'm a personal trainer, and, and if I train client clients, I don't get paid. That's a very primitive aspect there. So I started taking back of my own emotions, right? Because remember, emotion is something that you can control. Nothing around you can control emotions. I started realizing, ah, you know, I can control my emotions. I can control the impact of my life. Let me bring home one important thing here. As humanity, like I said earlier, our value is when it comes to fight or flight or survival, we want to protect ourselves, our family, and loved ones. Now, that's our primitive value for ourselves. Let's look at it different. That's every value everybody shares. The value is we all want to survive. We all want to thrive. We all want to hope. We all want to be happy. We all want these values. And obviously, when we go to the store, we're overcoming anxiety. We're overcoming frustration. And we don't even look someone in the face and say, hi, how you doing? How's your day? A smile because everybody's running, trying to get the rice or trying to get their wipes. And we're not really taking in this. We're the same. We are all connected. The way to change humanity versus Corona is simply know we are here as one. The way to fight the virus first starts with ourselves. How can we fight ourselves? Fear creates more fear. Fear creates more anxiety. Fear creates a push, right? But we can do certain things. We can still smile. We can still laugh. We can still shake someone's hand. I have to wash your hands, of course. We can do things that make it still. We are human. This fear social media has created. I mean, I remember one day last week watching news. First, it was a coronavirus update. Next thing you know, it's this coronavirus outbreak. An outbreak screens fear. I mean, I was looking at the movie outbreak in the early 2090s with Dustin Hoffman. I'm thinking I need to go buy a gas mask. I need to buy a CDC suit. All this impact. But still what I did, you know what? Every person I met, I said hi. A person I met, I said, how's your day? Spreading love will always beat fear. Spreading joy will always beat anxiety. Spreading, spreading the love we need for humanity 
and things we should be doing to create a better life for ourselves is what's going to fight this virus. By being upset, by being angry, fighting for things you see on the shelf doesn't do anything for us. It creates force. Power and love and joy will always be force. So remember this. Be happy. Say hi to somebody. We all are connected. We all share the same value. We all want to survive. We all don't want anybody to hurt me. Who wants to see someone die from Corona? Who does? Nobody does. But we have a choice to control our fear. We have a choice to control our feelings. We have a choice to what we read, what we see, what we absorb, and we want in our lives. So thank you for watching another Life Coach Ron Johnson, motivational speaker. I'm here to know you, tell you this, you have a choice and you have a choice to control your emotions. And please be kind to everybody out there. Thanks again.